It all began in Canada where I was completing a month's print residency at Kingsbury Botanical Gardens and somebody asked me about my printmaking inks and whether they were environmentally friendly and I realised at that point that I didn't actually know. Following some research into synthetic and commercially produced pigments and inks, I decided that I wanted to try and develop plant-based pigments for use within my practice. This sparked a fascination for and just a love of natural colour. It's just astonishing to think that synthetic colour has only existed since the mid-1800s. Prior to that, colour was sourced from minerals, some animals or insects, and primarily from plants. In less than 200 years, natural colour has all but been obliterated from our lives. Not just from artist materials, but from our clothes, our textiles and our homes. I just find it so fascinating that you can get such a range of colours from plants. We get so used to synthetic colour that we kind of forget the beauty and value that can be got from plants and from natural sources. Plant colour just has a subtlety and depth that is incomparable with different tones and shades that create an extensive palette of colour. It's just a a visual celebration of our natural world.
Extracting and creating a dry powdered pigment from plants was something that I had to teach myself. Whilst a lot of the process is based on techniques used for natural dyeing, there wasn't much, if any, information available about utilising plant-based pigments in printmaking, so the science has definitely been a steep learning curve for me. Making my own inks from natural resources has made me aware of how much I use. It's such a lengthy and drawn out process from initially growing the plants all the way through to mulling the pigments that I've really developed a greater appreciation and care of my materials. So not a single drop of ink goes to waste. I scrape all that ink back up and it gets put back in the pot for me to use next time. I found that working with natural materials and seasonal variations has caused me to slow down, almost to, I guess, relax my practice. When you're working with nature and with plants, you, you kind of have to slow down. You can't work at a speed that's, I guess, dictated by modern life. It's about taking the time to appreciate everything, really. So observation of the natural world, of plants growing and maturing, has become a real integral part of my practice and it's a major consideration in all the work I do. In the future I'm planning to set up an open access dye and pigment garden where other people can come and learn about natural colour. I found it really hard to source information about methods and techniques when I was first starting up and so I kind of want to open it up and make the whole process more accessible for people.